up guys welcome back doing some highly sought after content today according to the viewership of this channel working on my baby i miss her Mr. Death. The 6.0 is cool and all. I enjoy driving her. But it's like hanging out with your side chick every day. But you're in love with the main one. I got my hood struts on work, so the damn wrench. Prop this shit up. Here's a bolt for my body lift. I never installed. That doesn't fell apart. That'll work. If you don't know, this is my first truck. My baby. She popped my chair. And for some reason, every time I put a transmission in it, the back of the transmission and the extension collar shatters. All the fluid comes spewing out, dries out the tranny, and blows it. This is the second one it's done it to. So, my plan is to go to number three. But this time, when I put the gears in, 513 gear ratio, I mean, I already know that's why. Thinking back, there's a reason that it's messed up. And I will get on that later. But there is a vibration once you get up and speed. And I'm thinking that vibration is just shattering every extension collar and transmission I put in it. All the shock from the drive shaft. I know that's what's wrong with it. And I'll tell you all the stupid shit that I did in a minute. First, we gotta start my baby up. I'm just gonna tell you all this. Do not try this shit at home. I'm a professional redneck. YouTube channel name says so. Why would my name be Redneck TV if I wasn't a pro? So this battery is dead. Grab one of these other batteries, which is also somewhat dead. It's gonna work out. Set that there. Need something to prop it up. I already know top comment's gonna be, oh my gosh, Ken Dog, did you relapse? This is this some tweaker shit you're doing? man but look it works okay watch it's gonna start right up there's the kin dog that i know the method from the trailer <laughs> oh we ain't got a good connection that's what it was come on baby you're trying Damn stick fell. I mean, why charge a damn battery when you can just do this, you know? Oh, it did come on. Dang, you're stinging too. Dang! Woo! Oh, shit! Damn, I missed her so much. Five jugs of tranny fluid in there. We'll be romping around for a few days in her. Realistically. Oh, I want to drive her bad. She's running good. Proud of her. Nice. I ain't got no fan shroud, so it's just blowing it everywhere. If we overfill it, it really don't matter because it'll just leak the excess out. <laughs> Shit. She moved. Transmission is not in a very healthy state. Yeah, we ain't driving it, bull. We're just gonna move her into the garage. All right, we might take her down the road. Fuck it. Pull her back into the field. Huh. Dang it, Bobby. Driving the F-150, my nigga. <laughs> oh shit, let's take a lap around the pond. <laughs> I'll set y'all on that barrel. Y'all can see me driving it. It looks so beautiful. It's been so long. Y'all gotta witness it. This is real life, by the way. We gotta put this thing in the garage before it fucking stops. We're gonna see what mile per hour this uh, the rear end's going. And she's vibrating at about 55, 60 mile an hour. And it just gets worse the faster you go, I do believe. You like riding this truck better, don't you? Yeah.
Yeah, hit that bar. <laughs> Your sister's out. All right, just show him. Fuck. Show him. Let's just expose me. Ah, oh, Kenny, he's a nasty redneck fuck. Holy shit. Nasty hillbilly fuck. Hoarding. Probably fucking fish guts. <laughs> Here's what we're checking. I mean, they don't seem loose at all. No up and down play. Lifted truck probs. See, like I probably won't die. It's supposed to be a little sparkly. Okay, what? So we're gonna check the backlash and the contact. Well, here's a little piece of a shim. I know why that happened. I'll get on that in a minute. But first, we're gonna check backlash, which I'm sure, since that shim is gone, is a little too much. We're gonna check the contact pattern to see where it's hitting at on the gears. Clean it off to be able to put the paint on it. I don't think these snap ring pliers are worth a damn. I might have to get some new ones, but I'll see if I can't fish them out with it. These are about to break on me. Yep, look at that. Woohoo! Yay! Love this shit. This is a very retardedly expensive tool. This is a dial indicator, and with this, you check your backlash to make sure it's in spec. Magnetic base. That's gonna be way too much backlash. I can already tell. When I put it on, it was at 11. You want it in between. 15 and 8. No more, no less. Yeah, that's way too much backlash. Yeah, so that shim definitely fell off. Damn near a whole tenth of an inch off. Slide the axles out so I can get the rear end out. Take the pinion off, cut the bearing off, put a new shim in it. Let me just show you all what I did the first time. So this is the pinion, and then you press this bearing on with this fucking shot press I bought just to do this job. Before you put the bearing on, you gotta have space so it can, the contact pattern can be exactly where it needs to be on the rear end. And the backlash too has a lot to do with that. These little shims here, what I did was I pressed the bearing on before I put any damn shims on it at all. So I was like, well damn, I have to cut this bearing off. It was the only one I had. Sitting here in my house for like two months at the time, no truck, nothing to do at all, pissed off, just wanted to drive my truck. So I said, fuck all that, I'm not waiting two more weeks to be able to leave the house. I just got one of these shims, put a slit in it, and then I bent it, then wedged it up under there, tapped it in, and then pressed it down all the way. I was like, well, maybe it'll press and hold it in there. Apparently not, because I pulled pieces of shim out of my rear end. So yeah, save yourself some time, two transmissions. If you don't do something right, don't try to rig some bullshit up. Be patient, wait on your shit. Had I just suffered and waited two more weeks for a new bearing to come in, which I have to special order. It would've been fine, I had to buy two transmissions because I guarantee the vibration from this is what's shattering my transmission. Also gonna check the contact pattern. All this was fine when I first did it. One tiny ass shim on the pinion throws everything off. I mean, I could probably rig it, put more shims on this side to make the backlash less if the contact pattern's good enough, which I'm sure it's not. We're checking here is to see where the gears are splining in at. We want it to be precisely dead center in the middle pretty well. Too deep, it's gonna cause too much wear. And if it's too far out, it'll be slipping. There's also a reverse contact too. I ain't gonna lie, pretty well damn perfect but if i put more shims on this side the contact's gonna be a little bit deeper than that it's already like pretty centered I mean, fuck it i'm gonna try that or i rip everything off it was water drinking whiskey this early you're crazy throw the shim on get the backlash precisely where it needs to be slap it back together put it all back together drive it see if the vibration goes away. And if it does, we're gonna buy another transmission for it. That's not mustard, damn it. That is contact paint. Had to get some new snap ring pliers. Tried to use the other ones I had. Of course they broke. This is 11 bucks and it just comes with a bunch of these little tips. I have a feeling this shit's just gonna break. Finally, man. Yeah. Oh, it's my little spacer there between my axles, don't wanna lose that. Main thing about working on these damn things, when you put them together, you want them clean. Got a little bit of something going on in here. 
What in the fuck happened? This boy all worn out. A clip wasn't even in nothing. This axle clip. Damn, dude, this axle's just been sliding out. This back right wheel has been held on by nothing but the brake caliber. That is wild, dude. I could have been driving down the road, tire flies off, axle still connected. Why did it do that, though? Because it's an 8.8 .8 ring, 513 gear ratio? I could have been fucked, dude. That would have sucked. I'm glad I figured that shit out. I just don't know what this is, though. Is it a second spacer? What is this? Pop these damn wheels off, the calipers off, and slide the axles out. Mm. Little life hack. Slide your wheels and tires up under your shit. That way if it falls, it might just severely damage some of your internal organs instead of killing you. Yeah, look at this, man. <laughs> Holy shit. That caliper's a tough one. Whole wheel's being held on by a 10 and a 13 millimeter bolt. <laughs> Excuse me. so good there's something else fucked up with my rear end it's too fucking fat see that axle right a little c-clip goes in here and holds the axle in well on this side just completely broke off the axle i mean i'm gonna have to get a new axle that's the only thing kind of want to do some research figure out why the hell that would shear off like that that'll make no sense to me i don't know if the Gear ratios is too much for it to handle. It's such a small ring. Probably need some heavy duty axles. Comply with the custom shit I put on it. I get a new axle before I do anything at all. Before I drive it or anything, I mean, I'm gonna have to. Back here yet again, doing some tweaker style shit. The reason being is my house smells like shit. I use AC window units. It's this one. I mean, I can literally smell it blowing out. It was like sour baloney. Can't even describe the smell. Waking up, coughing, scratchy ass throat. So yeah, I got this thing stripped down. All this, this is the internals of it. Sprayed it with some smell good shit. Wiped it down. Had to disassemble all the electronic shit. Just gonna hope to God when I plug it in, actually turns on. But all I gotta do is spray this one out, clean it. I like clean this fan because it goes on the inside yeah if it still stinks after that i mean there's no possible way it can stink a little life hack for y'all see all this rust down here so if you have a window unit as well you want it to actually last drain holes why the hell are they up here okay it rains and shit condensation drips out here there's obviously going to be water puddling up here there's no drain hole so i drilled a hole here here and then two big holes in the very back to prevent this shit from getting any worse stupid as hell i literally made it that way just so it'll break you have to buy a new one yeah if y'all want your shit to last drill you a little hole the lowest point gonna spray the rest of it off put it back together see if it works well i did a few mods to it that i would think would make it colder so let's see if it actually works i plug it in I don't fucking know. I still smell it. Like, I don't smell it anymore now. It just smells like fresh air now. I smell it. I took the little damper that lets fresh air in. I just ripped it off and taped over it. Should work way better now. Well, I called about the axle. It's 180 bucks for a new one, but I'm not sure if I can just put a stock axle back in it. I have to do some research on that. Or if any of y'all have ever put a custom rear end in and then the mushroom and your axle just broke off. Why the hell did that happen? You have to get stronger axles. For right now, I just think it's the vibration that caused it. But yeah, let me know in the comments. If you wanna support your boy in my endeavor of making entertaining content for y'all, Patreon link is in the description below. Be much appreciated. And yeah, see you in the next one. Later.